In this video, I will be teaching you about remainder theorem. Remainder theorem states that when a polynomial p of x is divided by x minus c, it leaves a remainder of p of c. So for example, we have a polynomial 7x cubed plus 6x squared minus 40x plus 17 divided by x plus 3. So technically, or according to remainder theorem, this should leave a remainder of p of negative 3. So we're taking x plus 3 as our x minus c, therefore p of c is p of negative 3. And we just need to plug this into our equation in order to find our remainder. So to do this we get 7 times negative 3 cubed plus 6 times negative 3 squared minus 40 times negative 3 plus 17. Let's calculate this. We get negative or 7 times negative 27 plus 6 times 9 minus or plus 40 times 3 plus 17. And we can simplify this. This gives us, I believe, negative 189 plus 6 times 9 is 54 plus 120 plus 17. This gives us negative 189 plus 191, which gives us a value of 2. So therefore, the remainder is 2. So when we divide this polynomial by x plus 3, the remainder is 2. And when we do long division, we see that this holds true. So when we have 7x cubed plus 6x squared minus 40x plus 17 divided by x plus 3. We can do long division, so we get 7x squared, this gives us 7x cubed plus, what's this, 21x squared, subtract. This gives us a value of, these two cancel out, and this is negative 15x squared minus 40x plus 17 and then we multi divide once again we get minus 15x so minus 15x squared and plus or minus 45x subtract and we get these two cancel out this gives us 5x plus 17 and now we do plus 5 because we divide this, then we get 5x, and 3 times 5 is 15, so plus 15. We subtract this, and we get 2 as our remainder. So as you can see, the remainder that we get when we did long division was the same as the value of p of c, or in this case, p of negative 3. Okay, so that's simple enough. At this point you might be thinking, well what do we do if we have an expression such as ax minus b that we're dividing our polynomial by? In that case, factor theorem can be extended to say that when p of x is divided by ax minus b, it leaves a remainder of p of b over a. And we'll look at an example of this. Let's say that we have the polynomial x cubed plus 2x squared minus 4x plus 2 and this is being divided by 2x minus 1. And we want to find the remainder over here. So what we do is we simply find p of b over a. And in this case, b is equal to 1 and a is equal to 2. So we do p of 1 over 2. And we can plug this into our polynomial and we will get 1 over 2 cubed plus 2 times 1 over 2 squared minus 4 times 1 over 2 plus 2. This gives us 1 over 8 plus 2 times 1 over 4 minus 4 times 1 over 2 plus 2. We can simplify these. This is 2. This becomes 2, we get 1 over 8 plus 1 over 2 minus 2 
plus 2, these two can cancel out. You can simplify this to be 1 over 8 plus 4 over 8, which is equal to 5 over 8. And this is the remainder. This is our remainder when we divide this polynomial x cubed plus 3 x plus 2x squared minus 4x plus 2 and we divide it by 2x minus 1.